your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. Sport utility vehicles may be the hottest selling machines in today's market, but a lot of them are hardly what you call exciting. The basic look of sport utes has hardly changed since the first Jeep Wagoneer rolled off the production line back in 1962. But the times they are finally a changing. Recent arrivals like the Mercedes-Benz ML series and the Lexus RX 300 are moving away from the boxy SUV styling. And Isuzu is unleashing a radical sport sport ute called the Via Cross, and it's unlike any production sport ute before it. In fact, the Isuzu Via Cross is helping change not only the look of sport utility vehicles, but also the way that they're made. Its zinc-coated steel body panels are made by a new ceramic die process that is faster, more flexible, and less expensive than traditional body stamping technology. But since ceramic dies wear out much more quickly, only limited numbers of the Via Cross will be built. U.S. customers will initially get a mere 200 vehicles per month. That select group will revel in the unique lines of the Via Cross's cyberpunk body style which is protected down below by chunky lower body cladding molded from unfinished black polypropylene and even attached with industrial looking Torex screws. Other notable fashionably rugged styling cues include the reptilian looking nose with its snake eye headlights and aggressive fanged grille, flat black hood insert to cut down glare, corrugated groove stamped into the doors, aircraft style fuel filler cap, and enclosed full-size spare that looks great but severely restricts rearward visibility. Based on the two-door Trooper chassis, the Via Cross rides on a 91.8-inch wheelbase and sits 8.4 inches above the ground. Between chassis and pavement, the Via Cross is supported by a double wishbone torsion bar suspension up front and a four-link coil spring design in the rear. Both use new aluminum-bodied shock absorbers with separate expansion chambers to handle heat better. Long common on motorcycles is the first use of this design in a four-wheel production vehicle. 16-inch alloy wheels wearing chunky all-weather tires complete the package. And to move all this down the road, Isuzu has installed the latest version of the V6 engine used in the Trooper. It now displaces 3.5 liters and makes 215 horsepower as well as 230 pound-feet of torque which reaches the wheels by way of a standard four-speed automatic transmission. Hardcore off-roaders take note, no manual is available. The final and most important component in the drivetrain is a Suzu's torque-on-demand full-time all-wheel drive system. TOD uses a dozen sensors and sophisticated computer software to not only adjust to changing driving conditions, but even anticipate those changes ahead of time. Out on the road, that means that the Via Cross delivers a rather sporty driving experience with less of the truck feel common to the SUV class. In fact, it approaches the feel of a sporty car with its tight, precise steering and minimal body roll. Engine performance is also very car-like. Acceleration is brisk with excellent throttle response. Hardly the punch of V8-powered rivals, but more than adequate for daily on-road driving. Off-road daily driving is also no chore, especially when it's on the big island of Hawaii. With some of the most changeable landscapes and weather conditions on the planet, Hawaii proved a perfect paradise to test an SUV that some wags think looks like it came from outer space. In truth, the lava rock and dirt roads we encountered on our control journey were easily conquered by the Via Cross and its nearly invisible TOD system. The really tough stuff was off limits, but we still put this way out his Suzu through a lot more trials than most buyers will encounter. Of course, while the outside of an SUV is a big part of buyer appeal, inside is where they'll spend all the drive time. And the inside of the Via Cross is frankly a disappointment. Rather than build an interior as radical as the exterior, Isuzu simply transplanted the Trooper's conventional dash. Though both dash and doors do get a bit of faux carbon trim, the seats, however, are leather-covered Recaro buckets that not only look good but offer plenty of support, and they face a set of jazzed-up analog gauges. A standard AM-FM cassette stereo at the top of the center dash is made into a standard six-disc CD changer at the bottom as well as foolproof heat and ventilation controls and a full load of power accessories. 
Rear seat room is reasonable for adult-sized passengers, and the 50-50 split folding seat expands the standard 13.9 cubic feet of cargo space, which can be accessed only by using the key, since the unusual spare tire storage leaves no room in the door for a remote release mechanism. Though to be fair, the rear door release and dash styling are the only real compromises in what is clearly the most innovative sport you'd ever to reach the showroom floor. And if you want to drive it away from there, expect to pay $28,900. The only options are a roof rack and special graphics to commemorate the annual Iron Man fitness contest, which Isuzu supports. It's a price that many will gladly pay for such a unique machine, a machine that Automobile Magazine described as bold and funky and called it the first SUV with a sport wagon attitude. And attitude is what the Isuzu V-Across is all about. An attitude that the old way of building sport utility vehicles is simply no longer good enough. And that in the future, it may well be sport utes like the V-Across that truly represent the leading edge of automotive design. To get the